Hello, I'm Shirley and welcome to my channel, Shirl's Divine Styling. Today I thought I would just talk about my um, orchid collection. Um, I've had orchids for quite a while, some of them, I mean, it could be 10, it could be 15 years, oh, I've just lost track. Um, I have mentioned, I think, that before. These are some of my older ones, I have got a few more in the house, but I've just brought these out for now to show you. These are my Phalaenopsis orchids, and as you can see, they're absolutely divine, beautiful, lovely, strong lilac. This one is an older plant, it's got far more flowers on, and this one is a younger one. Um, and these are also Phalaenopsis over here. Um, and this one, I'm not sure now whether this, I think it is, it is the Phalaenopsis, yes. I did have one that's similar to that, but has a much bigger head, it's called a Singalo. Um, I thought I'd got it with me, but I'm, it's obviously in the back room. Um, and uh, as you can see, they're absolutely beautiful. Look at the, the beautiful dark purple, white, and beautiful yellow in the centre there. And it is very spring-like, it's so beautiful. Um, and I just thought I'd show you what I've got. Um, this is uh, my heaven scent. Um, she is an oncidium and uh, she is hopefully due to flower soon. She's quite beautiful, just with her leaves alone, without even um, flowers. And uh, if you can see, this is the older side uh, and she grows on what they call a rhizome and it sort of grows along this way. And as it does, so it shoots out new leaves and new sulabub bulbs. And from those come the, the flowers. And um, she's really beautiful. She has already flowered for us twice. And uh, she has a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. She's quite lovely. And uh, this is my Vanda, and um, she's not very big, she's quite small, and she is absolutely beautiful, and she's there. Um, I haven't put her in um, any medium, because these plants you can actually have just hanging on a wall, and you know, they, they get a lot of moisture from the air on the roots. Um, I don't particularly want her hanging from a wall, um, but I have been thinking about maybe putting her in a medium. Some people are doing that and having success with it, but it can also be the wrong thing to do. So you have to be very careful about how you go with that. Um, she's really quite lovely. And um, this one is my Cattleya. She is the amazing Thailand and I'll be putting pictures of my, you're probably already seeing them, pictures of my various um, plants for you to see. Um, the flower on this one will be huge and it will be a yellowy orange kind of a flower, absolutely beautiful. That's why they call it the amazing Thailand. She's got gorgeous leaves and she has a history with us. Um, when we had her, she was only half the size she is now. And she, she had a problem with her roots. The roots were mushy and sort of rotting and not very good at all. So we looked up how we were to treat her in the hope that because she's so precious that, you know, we, we can get her through. And, we did, uh, we got rid of all the roots that were bad and she was left with hardly any. We sprayed her, um, cleansed her, uh, and then we nursed her back to health um, in a little um, plastic cup with some air holes around the top. We put spagla moss in the bottom, just a little bit, covered the roots, what was left of 
her roots um, with the sparkling moss, sprayed them every day or every other day just to keep them moist, not wet. We didn't let any pools of water go into the bottom, just kept her moist and we nursed her back to health. And after uh, so many weeks or a month or whatever, we could see that something was going on. She was starting to grow roots again and we just kept this up until the roots were long enough. And then we very scarily, because it was a lot of tender love and care, um, you know, we repotted her. Um, and she has just, just look at that. Just look how she's flourished. She's absolutely beautiful. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, one day I'm going to get those beautiful flowers that they all talk about, rave about. Um, then I have um, another one here, a Nelly Isla. She is lovely, beautiful, a much lighter green and more tapered uh, leaf, shiny, very pretty and she has the most wonderful fragrant flowers um, they're smallish sort of deep pink a um, little yellow here and there and um, they're just wonderful just wonderful and I just got confused there for a moment but I remember now that, that this one here um, heaven sent she is the one with the chocolate fragrant flowers if you haven't heard about it they are absolutely delightful there is lots and lots of flowers and the fragrance fills the air um, just beautiful absolutely beautiful so I was so excited to have her as well she's just wonderful um, and I'm um, just trying to see what else I've got here for you to show you. I will go into more detail with each of these um, on a, another day. I just thought that I would just do this uh, brief uh, video today and just show you some of my orchids so that you can see that I will be showing you my orchids as time goes on, especially the special ones, Nelly Isla, um, the amazing, the amazing uh, Thailand and um, even uh, Heaven Sent. When they flower, I will bring them on and, and show you. This one um, is the Thai Shin. She's Polychirus. We had a little problem with her recently. Her leaves started to go very, very yellow and eventually it dropped off. When you first see yellow leaves, you think, oh, it's just one of those things, it's just going to happen, that's that, but it wasn't. Um, apparently, this does happen from time to time with a polychirus, and it's because they need more fertilizer, more magnesium, um, and you, you have to be aware of that. So if you should have one of these and your leaf goes yellow, that's what you have to do. You have to give it more magnesium and more, I, th I think it was nitrate. So I'm really hoping, she has flowered for me, uh, beautiful little flowers. They can flower quite often. The only thing with the polychirus is, I mean, we live in England, so you know our seasons are either freezing cold, warm, or quite warm or hot but we don't have, you know, some of the temperatures that some of the other countries do. And she comes from a place where it is virtually always warm and she, that's what she wants. She won't grow and she won't flower unless she's kept warm. So uh, we have to keep her with us in the lounge um, and uh, all through the winter, you know, I daren't put them in the kitchen where it gets cooler at night. Whereas with the um, Phalaenopsis, they're fine. They're fine in the kitchen, it gets quite cold, I don't have the, you know, the heating on in the kitchen during the winter, but that does trigger them to flower. And around Christmas time, or just after Christmas time, all these beautiful blooms come out and they last for months. And this year they were a bit late flowering. We're in just 
first couple of days of May now. Um, but I did have um, probably already now a good month or six weeks even. And just look at them. They're just absolutely fresh, beautiful. You can't complain. And this will go on for another perhaps another month or two beautiful flowers. I'm hoping that as these die off some of the others might come in and flower for me. Anyway I thought I'd just make this brief video just to tell you a little history of one or two of my um, beautiful orchids and um, how I'm collecting them and how I'll bring them uh, to new videos in the future for us all to see. And um, if I'm repotting, I might repot some with you as well. If there's a problem with them, I'll show you their roots and what I need to do to um, look after them. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed just seeing my collection briefly. And um, see you again next time. Bye.